I cannot speak French. Je ne parle pas français. Hey pretty people, I just landed in Paris, France y'all. I am so excited to be here. The Lego group is hosting a weekend long event called For the Joy of Play. It's hosted here in Paris and they flew me in for it. Like what is happening? I am so excited. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the event later on because I need to leave the airport. <laughs> Everything's super hectic right now. I have a chauffeur picking me up, check this out. There's a chauffeur over there, one of those guys. It's here for me. <laughs> We just got out to the parking lot with the chauffeur. His Hello, name's... my name is Sylvine, so I'm a chauffeur for Emily, and we go to the Paris now with the traffic, yeah. So excited. <laughs> So I can't check into my room yet because I'm here super early, but y'all, this hotel is so fancy. Like I am shocked at everything happening right now. There's even like a spa area so that I can take a shower so I can go like explore the city a little bit because I'm just like, you know, kind of gross from being on a plane for 12 hours. This is incredible <laughs> what is happening. Okay, so the hotel's not ready yet, but like I left my bags with them and they're in a secure place. I was like really worried. Now I'm heading to find some food, but also something really cool that I realized is that there's a Lego store, a seven minute walk from my hotel. Why is Emily in Paris? Emily is in Paris because there is an event happening this weekend and the Lego group was kind enough to send me. So thank you so much, Lego. This is literally the coolest thing I've ever done. So <laughs> thank you so much. There's an event this weekend for the joy of play and it's hosted here in Paris, France. There's a lot of soccer players being flown in for this. Thierry Henry is coming. I don't really know much about soccer, but I'm just trying my best. The event's happening this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday is just like the media preview, which I will be attending. I'm so excited. Tiago Caterino will also be there. You, you might have heard of him. He's like an up and coming YouTuber. But all of that starts on Friday. Today is Thursday and I actually just got off the plane like two hours ago. It's my first time ever being in France. So I'm a little nervous about getting murdered. Like I've seen the movie Taken and it didn't end up that well for that one girl. It didn't really end up well for either of them. So wish me luck. I'm just gonna do my best to have a good time and stay alive. I'm sure it'll be fine, but yeah, wish me luck. Anyways, we were at the Lego store. Let's go check it out. I already see a giant Harry Potter build, y'all. This is gonna be so cool. They have the Hogwarts Express, very fancy. The Black Panther bus, motorized lighthouse, and then the winter build set. So cute. Look at that little train. Choo choo. Okay, so we just got into the Lego store and they have this beautiful Lego Friends display going on. Like, look at all the lights. That's, oh my God, the dolphin. This is so cute. I've never seen like the light display like this. I love this. Well, when it looks like they even have a mosaic maker here, I don't know if it's open right now, but that would be kind of fun to do. I would probably just make one of my dog ladybird the duplo y'all it's still weird that the lion has a camera why does he have that in the bathtub and so i'm just going to show you some of the boxes real quick y'all it's so weird not seeing a piece count on here like how do you know how many pieces are in it do you google it i feel like that's so important to like determining whether the price is worth it or not look at this lego pirate dude oh my gosh that's so much fun oh his map x marks the spot wait and i love that he has a hook too this is just perfect y'all they have r2d2 look how fun this is just chilling with r2 that's like a big build. I love this. And they have all of the advent calendars here. Look away for like the next 10 seconds or so because they do have spoilers out. Spoiler warning. Okay, so the Friends and the Marvel advent calendars are here on display and it shows you everything inside. I've never seen a Lego store do that, but I feel like they should. Like that's so useful. Oh my gosh, fruit as a Christmas tree. I love it. This is what's really, really exciting. The Ark, the Triumph. I know I didn't say that right, but I'm doing my best. Look how big this is. This is incredible. So 24,000 bricks, 44 kilograms. Let me know what that is in pounds in 180 hours. And then here we have a close up. You can see the people made out of Lego bricks and all of the detail. This looks incredible. The gray monochrome. Yes. Oh my gosh. I wish that I could build something like this. And I can actually get to the front of it. So let's check that out as well. It's just stunning. This is incredible. But then check this out, y'all. Okay, um, slightly embarrassing. I definitely said this was from Harry Potter. I already see a giant Harry Potter build, but it's actually Notre Dame. Um, yeah, my my bad, but you know, it, it, it looks like something from Harry Potter. What can I say? But seriously though, look how impressive this is. This is gigantic. Okay, let's check out the stats. 100,000 bricks. 240 kilograms, let me know what that is in pounds, and 730 man hours of building. This is impressive, oh my goodness. And then even having the minifigures coming down on the sides, this looks so good. Oh wow, wait, and then look at that build technique there. They use like those weird pieces on the edges for detail. 
I love that. Like seriously, this thing is huge. <laughs> okay, so here we have Lego Super Mario and I saw someone post about it in another Lego store. They had Bowser holding the NES controller like Bowser was playing the game. I just loved that. So I'm definitely gonna go home now and like switch up my display because that's hilarious. So I actually already have this. I bought it in Austin, Texas before I left to have people sign it while I was here. But you know, I probably should have just waited. I should have assumed that they had it here. Like it's a postcard from Paris out of Lego. Like that's the perfect thing to have people sign during the event. So yeah, definitely planning on getting this signed this weekend. They have the Lego Ideas Treehouse in stock. Like this is retired. This is full blown retired and they have it on the shelves for sale. They have multiple. They have what? Two of them? Three of them? Why do they have this still? Isn't this one retired too? Like, why do they have so many retired sets right now? This is weird. I need to show you guys this really cool Lego Star Wars display. It's not this one, but I wanted to show you this because this is a normal Lego Star Wars display. This one is insane. They have all these minifigures here on display. Like, this is so cool. What does that say? Someone let me know in the comments, but wow. I love this. Also, it's like kind of Halloween and spooky. There's a bat on that droid, so that's fun. Darth Vader has a glowing lantern. There's spiders. That stormtrooper is dead. And I know a lot of you guys have a better eye for this than I do. Are any of these retired or like older minifigures? Let me know in the comments. I've never seen Picket Brick spelled differently. This is actually so cool. But anyways, y'all, not me freaking out right now over masonry bricks. I'm gonna buy all of them. Oh my gosh, do y'all see this? I actually got a comment on a Lego City video recently saying like, oh, instead of a tan wall, you should do these. And I was like, bro, those are expensive. But look, they have them. Ross is gonna be so happy. But let me give you an overview of what else is here. They have like a few of these dark bluish gray dots, yellow bricks, white bricks. And then over here we have some spooky season bricks. Look at these fun fire pieces. That's so cool. Spiders. And our Lego store actually just got these pieces as well. I do not need any. I filled up like two cups full of that. But then check it out. They have such a good selection. I am really happy that I came here today. Like this is so cool. Okay, here's the current damage. I have one full cup, two full cups, going back for more. Now I have four cups. Okay, fine, one more. Five is all I need though. However, the issue is that they're out of lids and I need two more lids and I don't speak French, so I don't, I don't know what to do. Also, there's a dragon, check it out. So cool. Oh wait, look at what I just found. These flyers, I'm definitely gonna take one. They'll have more here at the event anyways, but this is the event. They have them in the Lego store here. Here's the lineup if you wanna like pause it and see real quick. Also, I figured out what to do about the lids because like some of them still don't have them. I asked them and everyone here speaks English. So that's really convenient. Sorry, I don't know French. So I honestly wasn't planning on buying anything today because like, how am I gonna get it home? But I did actually pack a duffel bag within my suitcase so that I could check a bag on the way home. Cause I know me and I like to shop. Plus like I wasn't gonna turn down gray masonry bricks like hello but anyways y'all i'm in line now to check out so i just left the lego store with my haul i'll show you everything i got in a second even though it's probably obvious but y'all i just like trampled a kid oh my gosh he was like running at me and like i didn't see and i was just walking and then he just like ran into me and then fell down and i was like is he okay oh my god he was fine y'all he just got up and then kept running again so yeah he's okay <laughs> kids are crazy okay y'all let's do a quick little lego haul for you guys so I got masonry bricks, surprise, surprise. I got five cups of these. Um, I'm thrilled. I'm gonna use these all in the Lego city. And I don't know, I'm like freaking out right now. My adrenaline is kind of crazy. It's probably partially the jet lag, but also the fact that I found masonry bricks. Like when were you guys gonna tell me that Paris had the best cab wall? Like, come on people, this is crazy. But also don't go looking for masonry bricks because I bought most of them. So there might not be any left. There were a few left, but not a lot. But then y'all, the best souvenir ever, I got a Lego catalog, but it's French. How cool is that? So, so foreign, wow. There's a little festival over here. Okay, we'll walk through there. My hotel's only about a block from here and there's so many little shops along the street. This is so cool. Also, look at that. That building's crazy. I don't even know what that is, but it's beautiful. But in other news, something kind of sad is one of my dots fell off. I'm pretty bummed about it. Now I need to go find food. But I heard that there's this really good hot chocolate place called Angelina's. Also, I dropped off my Lego bag, like I'm not holding it. So I'm gonna go get this hot chocolate. But I'm also just kind of like, it's hot chocolate, right? Like it can't be that good. I'll let you know. Y'all, I just found the prettiest building. Look at that. I don't even know what it is, but it's so pretty. Oh wait, it was the Louvre. Neat. Check this out, okay? Do you see over there? See that little, little tower? It's the Eiffel Tower. That's so cool. Oh, uh, why am I crying? Okay, I found Angelina's. Oh God, there's like a weight. This is wild. And finally at the front. This is so fancy. I just sat down and ordered. Everything here is so fancy, y'all. It's so pretty. Like, check out this painting. It's 
It's really pretty. So they bring out the hot chocolate in this little pitcher thing. Probably the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. Definitely recommend it. I feel like I kind of need a nap now. The jet lag probably doesn't help with that. Okay, y'all, so honestly, I just sat by that little pond thing for like an hour. But now, the part that I have been most excited for, I'm gonna take the metro and go over to see the Eiffel Tower. Yay, public transport. Oh, no, I can't get in now. Woo, public transport. Public transport's scary, y'all. So I had to ask a lady how to like put the ticket into the machine because I'm dumb, but I figured it out and now I'm, ooh. But now I'm waiting for my train. Look at this, public transport. Paris. So I don't really have a plan once I get to the Eiffel Tower. I guess I'm just gonna look at it, but I'm excited. My train ride was successful. Now I have to take a bus. I took the wrong bus. Help. Yeah, I had to take a different train because I messed it up the first time. Why is this so hard? Okay, I think I actually got it right this time. I got off at the exit it told me to, and I got on the train that it also told me to. So we're doing good. We should be close, like 15 minute walk now. There's a parade happening? Where are we? So I think it's not a parade, I think it's a protest. Um, um, I don't know what they're protesting for or against, but there's a lot of police officers. I'm scared. I just want to see the Eiffel Tower, but there's like a lot of stuff going on right now. Okay, so the Eiffel Tower is this way, just past the police barricade. I don't know what's happening right now. For being this bad at public transport, it's a wonder I'm like even still alive. Y'all, I found the Eiffel Tower. Oh, you can barely see it behind the trees, but it's really cool. Okay, okay, here we go. Here's a better view. <laughs> I'm like trying not to freak out too much because there's a lot of people around and I don't want to look like a weirdo or like a tourist because then I might get murdered, but that's really cool. I found the ideal picture spot based on what people in TikTok videos said. And it looks like I'm not the only one that saw that TikTok video. Look at that. That's amazing. It's like right there. I'm probably just ill-informed, but it's a lot more industrial looking than I thought it would be. I want to see it get sparkly at night though. And so apparently you can go inside the Eiffel Tower, but I don't really care to. Like I can see it really good from here. And apparently at my hotel room, there's only two rooms there that have a view of the Eiffel Tower and mine's one of them which is crazy. Thank you, Lego. And I haven't checked into my room yet because if I do, I will fall asleep and I won't get to see cool things. But I'm really excited to see my view, you guys. I'll obviously show you. But just look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm here. Really, I can't believe it. I am dreaming. I know I haven't mentioned this at all yet, but I am so tired. So I figured it might be time to head back to the hotel room and do a little room tour. But now I have to figure out how to take the bus. Found the bus stop. Found the bus. Okay off the bus. And my hotel's a straight shot from here, so I'm pretty sure I won't get lost. All right, I have my room cards, and I need to go find my room now. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, this is fancy. Okay, I love it. And then, okay, let's see the view. You can see the Eiffel Tower, kind of. Look at it over there. You can see it, right? There it is. There it is. Look at all the art on the walls. That one looks like a kid did it, but I kind of like it. I don't like that she's staring at me though. And then we have a closet here, a safe and all that kind of stuff. What's in here, bathroom? Is this the bathroom? Okay, so just toilet. Wait, where's the sink? There's no sink. Oh, maybe the sink's in here. Okay, so there's the sink. That's kind of, that's interesting. Okay, that's interesting. But then the shower, very nice. And then let's step outside, let me out. Let me out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm just dumb. This is so cool. I'm just gonna like be chilling out here. This is nice.